my name is Fazlin. I am from South Africa, a small area called Salt River near Cape Town. The reason I came to East Mountain um, was because I was new to my faith. Um, I just um, became a Christian in 2019 and I thought it would be a good um, year for me to learn more about God and community and also to be involved in partnerships. I've learned a lot. Um, a few things that I've enjoyed was Hope Theology, where we got to do sermons. I got to preach two sermons and hold two Bible studies. So that was a few things that I've learned. I've learned how to break scripture down and kind of like apply it to myself. Like how does it apply to me and to us in this day and age? Um, yeah, I've learned how to run um, groups at our, at our partnerships. If there's one thing that I am thankful for, um, for East Mountain and um, something that I've learned this year was intentional community. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I've had before, but I don't think I, I was as intentional as what I've learned to be this year. And um, yeah, I think that's one thing that I'm really grateful for. I would say it has been really helpful for me having yeah. people coming alongside me and journeying with me during this year and I hope for the future as well. Uh, my name is Benjamin Kabengele. I come from Congo DRC. I grew up in South Africa, spent 18 years in South Africa. So, I mean, a lot of things that I learned this year. I understand what does the gospel mean and what is, like, you know, that, that, is, that is a big news. Um, as well with uh, ministries and understand the kids' environment and love and respect about the kids, as, as well with the improvement of how to lead a Bible study and as, leading the sermon which I which I'm not gifted but able to learn which, which is great as well be a, a Christian leader um, how to be a, a Christian leader and what is mean what is look like to people so and that I learn a lot you know, but just by learning by by seeing in my heart and see that being a leadership is not about just by myself and do all the things but as well as a community it's a really great a great opportunity to not just by learning but to grow as well and see a different lifestyle of community because it's mountains community and learn to be a, a Christian leader but at the same time when you spend a lot with people and community there's also opportunity where you can find your identity in Christ where people can speak through life to you and there's a, a really great support here um, not just like you were coming here to be like a perfect person, but also able to, yeah, to be our work with you, work with you in the darkest moment. So it's a really great opportunity that I receive and grow so much. My name is Leonard. Uh, I'm from Mitchell's Plain, and I came to East Martin because uh, it's been uh, a dream of mine <laughs> to say the least. I feel as though there's a lot of useful resources. Uh, so getting introduced to stuff like the Bible Project and I think just like people as a resource was one of the the most valuable things I think I learned. Gives you an opportunity to explore yourself and explore your story um, and it's a very safe environment as well. Whoever is going to come in would be able to um, explore themselves and get to know themselves while getting to know other people. I'm Coco and I decided a good a year spent in learning the leadership skills, especially Christian leadership skills would be good for me. I think because uh, I was considering going into ministry full time anyway, so I wanted to equip myself a bit more than before I went into it. I've learned that communal living is hard, <laughs> uh, and loving each other is harder than we think it is. Because um, I can say I love you and not show it, and showing love through the messy times is when you truly, truly can test whether you love someone or not. If you want to be stretched and truly tested on whether you have accepted that, the, um, that Christ is your Lord, because allowing Christ to work through you, through other people, is a hard thing to do. But East Mountain does, allows you to do that in a safe space. And I think that's something everyone should experience before they go into a world of ministry, especially full-time ministry, because you're going to be tested by a lot of people around you, either the people that you're ministering to or the people that's on your team. And learning how to, like, learning conflict, conflict resolution, which is a workshop we had this year, learning those type of skills will be helpful for um, 
going into medicine. My name is Mtawazisi Wisdom Bofu from Zimbabwe, but I've been living in South Africa for the past 15 years and much of that time spent in Cape Town. I came to East Mountain um, to learn more about spiritual formation and its uh, importance in a believer's walk with God. And it was a recommendation from a friend and mentor or pastor, one of East Mountain's partners. This year I've learned um, the importance of uh, trusting in God in different situations and circumstances. But more than that, also just knowing the place for other believers, the one another's of uh, scripture and living them out. So simply put, I would say I've learned practical Christian living. I would recommend residency to anyone that wants to grow in their work with God and deepen their roots in theology because East Mountain offers a lot of that too and practicals where ministry is concerned as well they do give you that and over and above I would say you get to learn to live in community which is actually the heart of East Mountain and I think there's a lot of that in God's word. Thank you everyone for your generous support towards my journey at East Mountain. May the Lord bless you in all that you do. Arigato <laughs> for the great support that you guys are yeah and yeah it's it's there's no word to describe of how much the support because of you guys and then I was able to get opportunity to grow more and then I ever imagined I would able to grow. Yeah it's just seeing that this program is uh, just a very uh, essential one in growing Christian leaders. Um, so yeah, just thank you everyone for your continued support. I just want to say thank you uh, for you guys uh, sponsoring us and allowing us to actually have a space like this to come and to grow and to learn. Um, and it's a small thing, but it's it's a massive for us and it's a life-changing experience. So we thank you um, on behalf of all the residents of this year. I'd like to also appreciate the sponsors and those who donate and those who participate through their prayers and encouragement and partnerships and yeah, everyone that's involved behind the scenes. You are the heroes of the day after all. So I'm truly grateful for your support and would encourage that you keep on supporting East Mountain and I believe that the work that they're doing is yet to go far.